All right, so today we're gonna check out the new headset by Corsair, the Virtuoso XT. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. I know what you're thinking. Oh man, just a refreshed, rehashed version of the uh, Virtuoso, right? You're probably thinking, well, I already got the SE. Is it worth picking up the XT? Or heck, what's the difference here? You know what I mean? And let me tell you what, just spoiler, and we're gonna dive into this headset. Also do some comparisons of the other ones talking about them. But just a spoiler, they did everything we asked for on the original Virtuoso on this guy right here. So again, we're gonna answer all those questions. Number one, is the headset worth it standalone? Number two, how does it peed up or what's different compared to the older versions of the Virtuoso here? Let me tell you what, we're in for a treat here. So as far as in your box of the Corsair Virtuoso XT wireless gaming headset here, you're gonna get your braided USB-C charging cable or audio cable, which we'll talk about later. Your 3.5 cable with also controls in there. Of course, your headset, you'll get a little carrying bag because don't we all need a carrying bag for our headsets? You'll get your detachable microphone here, all your paperwork, your manual and everything, and you're also gonna get Dolby Atmos. Now this is not like one of the scratch off codes where you enter, it is actually linked to the headset here. So whenever you pair up the headset, go to Atmos and then activate it through there, it's gonna again be paired up with the headset. So the cool thing about that also is it's not one of those limited subscriptions. It's as long as you have the headset, you get ac access to Dolby Atmos. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about comfort and build. And yeah, I do have the Virtuoso SE here because there's a lot of improvements with the XT compared to the SE in this department, at least for the comfort. Now, as far as build, pretty much the exact same build. Heck, you'll probably mix up the two right here. They look so similar. Again, you got that full swivel and everything, metal arm adjustable right there, the metal forks right here and everything. Again, same as on the old uh, Virtuosos right there. The whole metal reinforced right there, very solid. Not worried about twisting or bending these guys up one bit, incredibly solid. But where they're gonna start differing is with the comfort. A lot of you remember with the old Virtuoso, what I used to state, whenever you put it on your head, even now, just put it on my head here, right? It just sits on your head. It's there, is it like, ouch, it hurts, let me get them off? No, but it's more like, man, these are annoying, let me get them off, kind of, you know what I mean? You just feel them sitting on your head, which got annoying. Maybe that's just my bald head. I don't test all of my headsets with hats on, by the way, you know? Everyone always says that. So what they did different here, and you can probably see in camera a little bit. Number one, the headband. They added a little bit more plushness. I mean, you can clear as day, see there? You almost see like little ripples where there's more fabric and plushness right there, you know? So again, that is a massive improvement right there. Some of you may think, oh, that's minor, but no, it, it really needed it. Also, as far as the ear cushions here, the ear cushions are beefed up. Now they're all fully pleather still, but the new XT, there's like a little bit more in it. Again, just kind of comparison to the headset as well. You just feel a little bit more plushness in the XT, more cushion compared to the SE or the, any of the other Virtuosos. Now, as far as size, they're pretty much the exact same. As you see, plenty wide, pretty much like a complete circle going around, pretty much the exact same. Depth, again, is about the same right there. But again, talking about there being more padding in the XT, you do notice it and your ears aren't touching the inside of the drivers like they did on the old ones. And one little cosmetic difference between them, as you can see on the headband, I'm not sure if the camera really picked this up, but on the new ones, it says Corsair on the headband. Uh, the old ones are just black up there. It does not have any branding. Mild, but it is there. But again, we compile all that together as far as the upgrades of the comfort and that great build that we've always loved on the Virtuoso, I mean, Wow, like, take my hat off here, because all you say, you know, test it with a hat on, but, I mean, even with my ever so bald head right here, I mean, they're stinking cozy. They are 100% stinking cozy. They really are. Now, yes, the only downfall I would say is the ear cushions are completely pleather. So your ears are gonna get a little bit spicy, but again, it's not deal breaking. What I wish they would have done is, I don't know if you all watched my review on the headset from Scuff, how they offer pretty much like a virtuoso style headset and they have these ones with the cloth right here, as you can see. I wish with this headset, I wish they would have included a pair of these with it. That would have been really cool. Just again, have any option in that customizable change right there. By the way, talking about that, yes, you can take the ear pads off this guy. Just simply go on those little crevices bam, and you can change them out right like that. 
But again, it would have been cool if they included a set of the uh, cloth cushions. All right, so now let's get into the next juicy part right here, the features and functions on the Virtuoso XT. As we look at the back of the ear cushions here, starting with the back of the right one. As you see, you have your volume wheel, and it's nice and firm in there as well. Aluminum wheel, by the way. You have your wired or your USB, and then your wireless mode. Over here, you have volume, right? You're probably thinking, wait a minute, you just had a volume wheel up here. What's this about? This is actually, as you can see, to control your Bluetooth. That's actually your parent button right there. Then your volume, you can also use it as a multifunction, skip, pause, track, and all that, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about here detailed. Uh, going over to the left ear cushion, as you see, you have your USB-C port, which is for charging, or you can also run audio from that. You have your 3.5 port, and then your detachable microphone port here. And by the way, it does connect wirelessly by the dongle right here. I think I totally forgot to mention this even in what is included in the box right there. But yes, it does connect wirelessly by the little dongle here. But touching more on what I just talked about here, you're probably wondering about those volume wheels. I personally, testing all of these headsets, have never seen this before and absolutely stinking love it. Number one, your volume wheel up here, which is gonna control it, whether you're connected by USB or wireless right there. 3.5, again, it is controlled by those inline controls on the 3.5 wire. But again, sliding down here, we now have Bluetooth on the virtual. So something that you all know is a must for me on my gaming headsets with my son being at school, needing a phone call, or also me being a very big music fan, right? Some of the games we've been playing lately, kind of like those grindy games where now I just like throwing some tunes in the background while I'm doing the same missions over and over and over. You know what I mean? But anyways, the great thing about the Virtuoso XT here is so I'm playing wirelessly connected to uh, say the PlayStation PC, whatever it may be. And then I'm controlling it through the headset. I also have my phone paired up and I'm controlling my phone right down here. Usually with most headsets, you gotta go into your device, whether it be the PlayStation, the Xbox, the PC, whatever, and then into your phone. Or maybe if you got an amp DAC that is controlled through, you know what I mean? Never have I seen it controlled both on the headset here. So I can dabble with that there, bam, control my audio or my Bluetooth volume, skipping tracks, whatever right on the headset. So again, I don't I don't have to break my focus or, or dabble here, there, or close down my game or something like that. Everything's taking place right on my head. Adjusting my volume, bam, adjusting my Bluetooth, picking up calls, skipping tracks. I sound giddy here, right? This is big time. This really is just the functionality and the ease of this, game changing. All right, so now let's go ahead and touch on the sound right here on the Virtuoso XT. By the way, like I stated, yes, you can connect it by 3.5 USB or wireless. By the way, on Xbox and Nintendo Switch, you have to go 3.5. Every other device, you can go wireless or USB. That goes for PC, Mac, and PlayStation right there. And yes, they do state you get the best audio with USB, but let me tell you what, going with any of these connections, it sounded absolutely phenomenal. It's not, I wouldn't say like, hey, make sure you connect them USB to get the best out of it, you know what I mean? I play a lot of Xbox, you know what I mean? And going 3.5, absolutely amazing. And again, wireless, of course, we're buying a wireless headset. It sounds phenomenal. You're talking mild differences, at least that I could tell myself while connected USB. So again, when we talk about these sounds, I think it's fair to peed it across every single connection right here. So talking about the sound more here, you all know I play a lot of Call of Duty, right? So talking about that, getting uh, directional sound, by the way, these are using 50 millimeter drivers of the frequency range of 20 to 40,000. Not sure if I mentioned that right there, um, which is the same as the old Virtuosos. So talking Call of Duty, you get that detail, you get that immersion, you get the environment, it's, it seriously has everything. Has the bass, has the mids, has the highs, and you clearly hear all of them. You know what I mean? Nothing's getting drowned out with a grenade going off over here. You're still gonna hear that guy reloading over here. You'll still hear that guy walking up on you over here with it all going on at the same time. That's really cool with the headset. That really is. That's what I look for in, again, a gaming headset if I'm playing something competitive like that. I still want to hear that enemy coming with these guys having a battle over here, if you catch my drift, right? Or with the score streak going on. I got that. And nothing really overtake it. The bass wasn't like drowning it out. Now, they're not like bass heavy, you know, like going to shake your head off or anything like that. But it's crisp, detailed, natural, hitting bass. 
it's awesome. It really is. Same with the highs right there. And again, it mids just sit here and just kind of balance everything out. It's really awesome as far as a first person shooter. But lately, I have not been playing as many first person shooters as I was. I mean, I still play them, you know, quite a bit. But <laughs> I've been leaning more towards story games. Just kind of that downtime in between the new Call of Duty and Battlefield coming out. I'm excited for those. But talking about one of the games I've been playing a lot lately has been Outriders. I have been absolutely hooked on that game. And if any of you haven't tried it, trust me and give it a shot. It's got a lot of uh, kind of negativity out there, but really fun game. But it's really a grindy game, right? Uh, Destiny-ish, right? So anyways, I'm doing the same missions over and over and over, right? And if any of you have played over Outriders before we even get into that bit, you all know it's a real chaotic, jumbled game. Constantly shooting, constant enemies going on, right? A lot happening. So you'd think some headsets with that, it's going to get real muddy and rumbly and just kind of start getting some of that like static effect in there, you know what I mean? With all these enemies and gunshots and abilities going on. But you didn't get that with this. It was so cool because, again, talking using an ability. Some abilities got a high pitch sound, some have a low pitch sound. You got that detail of that ability. You got the detail of the weapon because all weapons have a different sound and some abilities coming out of them as well, like the lightning coming down. You got the gunshot. You got the lightning coming down. You got the ability going off. You got the monster over here. You know, it is so cool because everything is still detailed and you're hearing everything right there with that mixture of different sounds. If you catch my drift, it's so cool. Again, kind of same thing with Call of Duty right there. A lot going on, but you can still really pinpoint and precise each different sound, which was an absolute blast. So that, that's what I really love about it here. It's great for any variety of game, a competitive first person shooter or a story game right there. And it's, it's really awesome because you're not getting that gamer headset vibe, right? With this overdone, just exaggerated bass where it's sounding kind of mid-heavy or just rumbly when everything's going on. You don't get that right here. Really awesome. If there's something I'd have to pinpoint it to, you all know I love my Audio-Technica ATHM50X. I'd put it in that range, maybe with a pinch more body. You know what I mean? All in all, the sound across every different variety of game and platform or connection, complete win in my book. Now, not to keep rambling on about sound, but I think this is a really key point. Again, touching on that Bluetooth right there, and it goes right in line with me talking about playing Outriders a lot, a real grindy game where you're playing the same missions over and over and over and over. You know what I mean? So I started putting music in the background of my game. Usually I don't play with music in the background of my games, you know what I mean? Like I'm just listening to the environment and the story and stuff. But with a grindy game like that, I started throwing some tunes in the background. And again, talking about being able to control my game right by the volume wheel here, and then my Bluetooth right by this, like it synced right to my phone. I use an iPhone. Um, but again, it's so cool being able to dial it in just like that and skip my track right in the game right there, you know? So again, you can really dial the volume of your game, dial the volume of your uh, music or phone call, whatever it is you have going on right there, right by the touch of it. And it's really cool because I still heard my music great. It was, again, I got that detail of music. Of course, I got crazy outriders going on in the background, you know what I mean? But again, I, I was still able to decipher and enjoy my music and enjoy my game at the same time also with the simplicity of controlling it. Again, it's stinking awesome. All right, so now let's go ahead and do that mic test, and I'm also gonna show you the IQ software since it's been updated. I'll show you that with the headset here as well. But like I stated, it does have that detachable microphone right here. Bam, it connects right into the bottom. As you see, yeah, that mute button is right on the bottom of the microphone here. And then again, it connects by our dongle. Now I'm gonna do this right live with you guys. So as you see, we connect it, and it's gonna flash red until it's connected. Then I'm gonna put the headset into wireless mode, bam, and we are connected. Now, one thing before we even get into the mic test, I wanna show you, this is real cool. As you see, the microphone is red, so it's muted. Press it, and now it is active. Really cool to have that notification when your microphone's on or off, and again, that simple control. Now, you can, of course, adjust all this in the software, which I'll show you, but anyways, Let's go on and test this microphone. All right, so for this microphone test, I'm gonna go live with you guys right now. You're still hearing me through my microphone. As you see, I have OBS loaded up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select record. 
Bam, we are live right now, and I'm gonna go right over to the XT, right? Mic on. Now, so now we are using the microphone from the Corsair Virtuoso XT. Um, I have my settings right about negative 20 right here, and this is the microphone about this distance from my mouth right over here. And again, nice and detached. I absolutely love the notification, so I know, hey, it's actually on. Some may look at it minor, but I think it's a really cool setting. So let me just go fold this up right over here. No, we don't wanna go that way. Come on, there we go. So let's go on and minimize that. Pull up IQ. So we're gonna pull up IQ here, starting off with the settings in here. As you see, you have light settings, which is just that little logo right on the side of the headset right here. And you have multiple uh, color options to choose from right here. Also, multiple effects. As you see, you have some presets if this little pen will work. You have some effects you can choose right there or sync it up with other Corsair devices if you want. Now. Whenever we go down here to equalizer, as you see, I have my preset. This is usually what I use with the uh, Virtuoso. I bring my bass down just a pinch and pull up my highs. Personal preference, out of the box sound of the Virtuoso is absolutely phenomenal. So seriously, you don't really have to get in here and dabble with any of this. This is just if you want to have a little bit of fun, maybe play around with some different game settings, you know. But again, out of the box settings on the Virtuoso are fine just as is. Now over here, as you see, you have your mic volume and then side tone. Like I stated earlier, you can press that button on the side to mute the mic. Now, if you hold it down as a long press, you'll activate, or again, hold it down again, deactivate the side tone, side tone, mic monitoring, how you hear yourself talking into the headset right there. But you also have some presets as far as that, and again, you can create different profiles. Now, real quick side note, um, the EQ settings do not transfer from device to device, so if I turn this off, take out the dongle, go plug it into my PlayStation, that EQ setting is not gonna save onto the headset. But like I stated, the out-of-the-box sound of this headset is perfect. It's perfectly fine. You really don't have to dabble with this at all. But again, it does not transfer. Now, the RGB, the little LED on the side right there, that does save. So if you set it to red or green or whatever and take it from PC to the PlayStation, it does save on that there. Anyways, going down further, as you see, we have device settings here, a firmware, your battery, your brightness of the lights right there. And you can turn this all the way off, the RGB off. By the way, you get 15 hours with this headset, um, up to 15 hours, obviously, with the RGB and the brightness, or you can turn it off and get longer time right there. Sleep mode, as far as it automatically turns off, and voice prompts. This is something like if I press the mic right now, it'll say mic off. And if you press it again, it'll say mic on. So you can enable or disable that. So really cool um, to dabble with EQ and have the settings here. Pretty simple and straightforward how they've updated it right here. But all in all, this is the microphone on the Corsair Virtuoso XT. All right, so usually I don't listen to my mic test back. I usually like just straight up recording them and then going to editing software and then just finding out with you guys, hey, is this microphone good or bad? I don't know, just something cheesy I like doing with my test, you know what I mean? But I did listen to this one back since I'm doing a mic test a little bit different, kind of live with you guys right there, you know? And wow, that microphone sounded so stinking good. Again, I'm not tweaking or adjusting anything, not an IQ, OBS, computer, or anything. That's straight up plugged and played out of the box. All right, so wow, wrapping up the Corsair Virtuoso XT. As y'all can tell, I'm totally nerding out over this headset. I stink and love it. It gets a win in every category for me. The one thing I wish they would have done was included those extra ear pads, the cloth ear pads. It would have been a really nice option in there. Now, yes, with all the features, functions, the build, and everything we're talking about here, it does come in with a bit of a price at $270. Whew. I'm with you. It's expensive. It is expensive, right? And looking at the prices here, let me get my phone out here. I'm gonna go over, look at Best Buy, Amazon, whatever like that. So the regular Virtuosos are 180. They got the lower mic and stuff like that. Um, the SEs, let's go on and pull my SEs out here, right here. This would be a good comparison for you right there. SEs are 209. So you're talking about $60 more for this right here. Number one, just cut to the chase. Is it worth the difference of the price difference right here? I say yes all day long. Again, if any of you have been on my channel before, you know Bluetooth is a feature I need. But this isn't just Bluetooth. The uh, ability to control it all right on the ear cup, the headset just like that, the simplicity, that's awesome. The, the innovation with it is awesome. That's tech. That's why we upgrade our phones every year. I really don't, but that's why a lot of us do, you know what I mean? So uh, with stuff like that, it's awesome. Yeah, I do like the upgrades big time here. But again, talking 180 to 209 to 270, you're gonna have to be the one to justify it. 
The one thing, the biggest thing that's gonna close the door for me is the comfort. These are so comfortable. You've seen in my original review, some of my comparison reviews, this is what I've been asking for in the comfort compared to the original Virtuoso, at least for me. Comfort's different for everybody, but for me, this is game changing for me. It really is, you know what I mean? You know what, believe it or not, this is gonna sound crazy here. You all know I'm a big SteelSeries Arctic Pro fan. I've been maining them for two years, right? You all know I love them. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It's crazy. It's almost a sad day here. It's not sad, because we're actually getting something great, actually. The Corsair Virtuoso XT is my new main headset across the platforms, PC and all. Corsair Virtuoso XT is my new main. The Arctic's Pros are boxed up. It's crazy to say, but that is how much I love this headset, and I highly recommend it. But yes, the price tag is high, so watch through this video, do comp some comparisons, see if the features, functions, and everything line up to what you're looking for, and if so, complete win right here complete win. So all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on a new Corsair headset, the Virtuoso XT wireless gaming headset. Wow, what an absolute blast here. But all in all, I hope I helped you out if you're looking for a new headset or heck, checking out the new Corsair headset. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.